Speaking of weather, today marks the start of the 2018 Atlantic hurricane season, but it turns out thousands of people are still recovering from last year's devastating storms. Parts of the country are bracing for what is predicted to be an above average season. Courtney Zabowski has more for us tonight from Houston. Lisa Strauss is moving back into her Houston home just in time for hurricane season. It's very nerve wracking though. Um, what's to say that it's not going to happen again? We don't know. Last August, Hurricane Harvey pushed three feet of water inside her house. It's been nine months of rebuilding. Other Houston residents are still lifting their homes, hoping to raise them higher than any future flooding. And this young girl spent Wednesday helping construction crews knock down her old bedroom. I feel terrible for the families who are still in limbo. Some images captured the scope of last year's devastation. Harvey in Texas, Irma in Florida, and Maria in Puerto Rico. 2017 was the most expensive and one of the deadliest seasons on record. And I have to admit, I'm even a little stressed. Bill Reed is the former director of the National Hurricane Center. The thing I'd worry about the most as a forecaster was we're gonna have a pattern set up to where they farm uh, close to, to land so that they don't have enough time to get people to the five day maximum forecast they'd like to have your prepare. This season, the National Hurricane Center predicts 16 named storms. That includes up to nine hurricanes. Four of those are predicted to be major hurricanes, which means category three status or higher. The city of Houston now has more high water rescue boats and more shelters, but multi-million dollar flood control projects are still years away from completion. The mayor people says so recovery is their, a work in progress. There are still some people that are in hotels, even now, eight months after. You know, there are still thousands of homes that need to be remediated, repaired, or rebuilt in some cases. There are still people outside of their homes. And those just coming back home? We're hoping and just keeping our fingers crossed that nothing's going to happen again. We'll be keeping a very close eye on the forecast. Courtney Zabowski, CBS News, Houston. Hurricane season runs through the end of November, the most active time from late August through early September. That's when Hurricanes Harvey, Irma and Maria struck last year, causing billions of dollars in damage.